Yo, what's up guys? It is me, Overswing, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to get lower frame rate in uh, with your Oculus headset. Uh, this is primarily pretty much just useful in stuff like Beat Saber because your swing angle is tied to your frame rate. So what that means is, look, let me hit this. Okay, so there's nothing for the rest of the map. So I'm on 120 hertz right now, as you can see right there, 120 frames per second. When I swing pretty hard, this is as much swing angle as I get. It goes pretty much straight up, and then it'll, it doesn't go all the way down, but it goes, it goes, it's pretty stable tracking, and it's uh, not full swinging, but it's pretty good swing angle. But if I go into Oculus Debug, this is the Oculus Debug tool. It comes with Oculus software, and I'll paste the uh, file, not file, but like the file pathway to find this on your own PC in the description. There's this little setting called PC Asynchronous Space Warp. And it it has a bunch of settings that don't really make sense, like Force 45 FPS. And then there's two different settings, whether Asynchronous Space Warp disabled or ASW enabled or auto. Well, when you put Force 45 FPS ASW enabled, you click that and you click out, you'll see right there, my FPS just dropped to 60. So now when I swing, it's a lot bigger way bigger like whoa i'm hitting all the way back there look at that oh i paused on accident my bad look at that Whoop. all the way and you can go pretty crazy with that same thing on left hand it's pretty cool but uh you can change it during level all you do is disable it click that and then look back up to 120 and my swings are back to what they were before so in essence that's all you have to do all you have to do is open up the debug tool and uh, change that little setting while you're in beat saber it only works if you have the following enabled here let me quit out so i can show you what all you need for this so you just need to be running on oculus software you run on this and you have to if you're going through steam then you need to be running on uh the VR mode Oculus launch options that you're running through Oculus software because then you can use the Oculus debug tool right here to turn on PC asynchronous space warp from disabled to uh, force 45 FPS. It should say force half frame rate because it doesn't actually force you to 45 frames per second. It will if you're on 90. What this actually does is it halves your frame rate. So if I, I'm on 120 right now, so when I click this button, that means that I'm going to drop from 120 to 60. It doesn't actually look like 60 in the headset. In the headset, it looks more like 90. It's a little buggy, but it looks looks fairly normal. Um, and you get 60 hertz. If you're on 90 frames per second, you get 45 hertz. If you're on 80, you get 40. If you're on 72, you get 36. I strongly recommend not going any below 60, which means do not go, do not use this on anything lower than 120 because it's impossible to play. You physically just can't. I'm gonna show that in a second, but you physically can't play like that. You'll just, it won't work. Let me show you real quick why I find this a little useful. So you can go on a vibro level, right? And these are like, vibro levels are swing angle oriented. Uh, hold on. Let me just, I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Let me skip to it. So then I'll put on the frame drop I mean, I'll put on the space warp, right? I'll open up the debug tool and I'll turn on PC asynchronous space warp, force 45, ASW enabled, minimize, click on, and then load up the game. And now my swings are lighter. And I can swing pretty big on Viro. Like I'm barely swinging. Yeah, and just for reference, I don't know if it'll look any different, but um, let me turn it off and see if it looks any different. You guys might be able to tell from the side view cam, but it's not a super crazy difference in my opinion. I was testing it and it wasn't really that crazy. So this is on 120.
I don't know if it looks that crazy, but uh, it feels very different in game. It feels different in game. So yeah, that's how it works. That's literally all you have to do. Um, let me show you though the issues that you get on lower frame rates, which means I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to swap uh, headset frame rates, which means I'm gonna have to pause real quick. Give me a second. Okay, I should be recording. Yeah, I'm recording again. Okay, so now I'm on 80 frames. Uh, let me just show you guys. So I am on, as you'll see up there, yeah, I'm on 80 frames. Okay, so I'm on 80 frames. Uh, and when I switch over to the debug tool right here, PC asynchronous space warp, and I change that to force 45 ASW enabled. It doesn't actually force 45, as I said earlier. It is now, I am on 40. And this is just essentially unplayable. Like, I am barely swinging. It's impossible to keep time. I'm barely swinging and it's just, it's very uncomfortable to play on this. I mean, you get like massive swing, I think. But you just can't play anything. Like, let me try. Hold on. You can't play anything. It's even hard to use the menus. You physically can't play on this. <laughs> what does that look like? I need to see this. Hold on. I don't know what this actually looks like. I haven't tested 40 yet. Okay, yeah, it's just... It's not usable. So, yeah. That, what that does is that, uh, that setting on the Oculus Debug tool, let me pull it up again. Uh, where is it? Yeah. What this does is it just halves your frame rate and it's useless on anything but 120 hertz because you physically can't play the game on anything lower than 60 hertz. So, yeah, that's how you use uh, Oculus Debug to, uh, to half your frame rate. I've heard that Apparently in Gorilla Tag, low frame rate is better. I've heard people say they want to get 45 hertz or 36 hertz. You can do that on PC with this. You can uh, put on 72 hertz base headset uh, frame rate and then just put that on and you'll be at 36 hertz. I don't recommend that because it's terrible to play on and the tracking just goes to nothing as you saw there. Even in a jump map, let me show you. Even in a basic jump map, the tracking goes to just nothing. Like, let me try playing Grim. It's just not gonna work. Actually, I, I won't do Grim. I'll do something even slower. Here, so we'll do this. It's on. We'll do, uh... I'll do something comforting. Okay, it's physically unplayable, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to the part. Yeah, okay, so I'm jumping as I normally would, and I just die. Yeah! Amazing. Just, yeah, this is what it does if you're on a low frame rate. The fact that I even got past that is crazy. Yeah, so that's that's what it does normally. Let me see what that looks like. I want to see. Because I haven't seen it without dying. So I want to see what it looks like when it actually works. Yeah! Wow, okay. So yeah, that's, what, uh, that's how your swings will look. Just barely jumping at 350 BPM on uh, 40 hertz. It's not feasible at all for anything. Yeah. Even on 45, it's unplayable. But I found out that if you use it with, as I stated earlier, if you use it with 120 hertz, you get 60 frames, which is actually playable. Because Quest 1, you can get, as to my knowledge, you can get uh, 60 hertz by default. So it makes sense that it works. Um, 
Can I go back in game? Thank you. So yeah, to sum up quickly, because I didn't really give a, a full explanation on how to get it to work. Uh, let me hop in here. So to get this to work, all you need is you need to be running, why is my Steam closed? You need to be running on Steam or Oculus. VR mode Oculus, if you're running on Steam, run on Oculus software, okay? On any game that you want to use this on. You're going to want to have, of course, Oculus open, because that's how this works. And then you want to use the Oculus debug tool. Go to the setting, PC, asynchronous space warp. Put it to force 45 FPS ASW enabled. And when you click that, it will half your frame rate. Not visually. In the headset, it's not visually halved. It's a little different. But your swings and every all your movements will have half of the regular frame rate. Then when you go in game, since I am on 80 hertz right now, I will be set to 40 hertz. And it is terrible. It is actually terrible. But let me just let myself die. Oh, I'm on no fail. But yeah, once you have that enabled, it will half your frame rate. It'll look a little worse, but it will half your frame rate. Um. So yeah, I only find this to be useful on 120 hertz. Anything lower, the game will not register your swings properly. So yeah, that's how you get a half frame rate on Oculus software. Hope you guys... Uh... Oh, also I do want to address... Some people will probably call that cheating. And I mean, I understand that. But my personal opinion on this, I don't think it's cheating. It's base software that comes with your headset. And it's not distorting game values. Your frame rate is still tied to your... Like your swings are tied to your hertz rate. You're just lowering your frame rate. Um, it's essentially saying that you could, you could call someone cheating for using a Quest 1, which I strongly don't think that's true. Quest 1 and stuff isn't cheating. I don't think 60 frames is cheating. Um, any lower, the game becomes unplayable. So, yeah. That's about it. Hope you guys thought it was cool. Go give it a try.